In this problem, we want to find the number of moles that an amount of matter contains. To do this, we are going to have to use the periodic table to find the formula mass for each of the gases. Then we'll divide the total mass of the given substance by the formula mass, which is also known as the molecular mass. Our first molecule is water. In water, there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The atomic mass of one hydrogen atom is one gram, and since there are two atoms, we multiply two times one. Then we find the atomic mass of oxygen to be 16 grams. Since there is only one oxygen atom, we add 16 to the product of the hydrogen, and we find that one mole of water has a mass of 18 grams. Since we have 40 grams of water, we divide the total mass by the mass of one mole to find our number of moles. 40 grams of water contains 2.2 moles. Next, we will find the number of moles in 245 grams of H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid has two hydrogens at one gram, one sulfur, which has a mass of 32 grams, and four oxygens with a mass of 16 grams. We then divide the total mass by the molecular mass, and find that there are 2.5 moles present. Next, we have nitrous dioxide. One nitrogen atom has a mass of 14 grams, and there are two oxygens at 16 grams. The total mass of 138 grams is then divided by the atomic mass. There are three moles of nitrous dioxide. Finally, we have sulfur dioxide, SO2. We know that there are 56 liters of SO2. From our studies, we know that one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure has a volume of 22.4 liters. So we can divide this into our given volume to find the number of moles. There are 2.5 moles of SO2.